We talked about, uh, a few days ago, we talked about surface charge on wires. And there, that we had to have a surface charge gradient in order to get electric field inside these circuit elements. And you actually can do a little experiment that shows these surface charges are real. Okay, they're, they're, for most situations, it's hard to detect them because the currents are very small and the electric fields are very small. But here's a situation where we've got very large electric fields and therefore very large gradients. And what we're doing here is we got a circuit that um, we're going to crank the, the EMF up to about 10,000 volts in just a second. But this circuit is connected to four what we're going to call resistors. And so these thick black things are just they're really thin wires surrounded by an insulating material. So they're, they are going to have very large electric fields because they're very high resistances inside those, uh, inside those uh, four elements. So we're going to crank up the voltage here to, I think, 10 kilovolts. And this side, of this red wire is the positive lead. This black wire is the negative lead. So we're going to have a positive potential on this side, negative on this side. So the electric field in those wires should be pointing that way, okay? So we crank it up to 10 kilovolts. And let's just, before they actually do it here, let's actually think about it. Okay, so we're on this side, right? Let me, let me just kind of draw it out. You've got a big voltage here, positive, negative, or actually it was the other way, positive, negative. Okay, electric fields pointing that way. So I should have a big gradient, right? A big surface charge gradient across the wire. So I should end up seeing some charge if this if this is uh, say positive on this end and negative on this end. I should be able to see some charge on that end of the circuit. How are we going to find charge? Well, let's bring a little neutral piece of foil. What happened? Did everybody see that? What happened? Let's try it again. Bring a neutral piece of foil near this end, and what happened? What? If there's charge, okay, it's repelled. Why is it repelled? It touched it, and what ha what happened? You, if I touch a metal to a metal, and this metal has some charge on it, then the foil gets some charge. We now have two things that have the same sign of charge, so they are going to repel. Okay. So there's actually charge there just sitting on the wires. That we, then there's so much charge in this case because of the high electric fields and high gradients that we can actually detect it by just bringing a little piece of metal foil and seeing that it gets repelled once it touches. Okay. And presumably, okay, he's bringing a, a neutral pen nearby, and the pen is he's asserting is charged negatively. So he's showing that the foil is actually repelled by the pen, and so we can test the sign of the charge. So on the other side, we should get a lot of positive charge. So he's going to touch it just to neutralize it. Brings it near. And it gets repelled when it touches, doesn't it? And he brings the pen nearby, and it sees that it's attracted to the negatively charged pen, so we can say that it is, in fact, positively charged like we predicted. What do you think is going to happen in the middle? What if I bring the foil to that part of the circuit? It should be neutral, right, because that gradient should be spread evenly across. We've got positive on one side, negative on the other. So in the middle, it should be neutral. And if we bring it nearby... I'm going to neutralize the uh, foil by touching it and then bring it to that middle part. Touches it and it just stays there. There's no repulsion because there's no charge to pick up. Okay. So they're real. These surface charge gradients are real and they're oftentimes hard to detect, but if you crank the voltage up a, uh, enough, you can actually pick these things up. 